try it. In today's video, we're gonna do a down and dirty redneck cheap repair if you've torn your CB boot on your uh, drive axles out back there or up front if you have a Carrera 4. Um, it is not a permanent solution. It is a temporary solution to get you keep going until you have a chance to get your car into the shop or until you have a chance to buy the parts and do the job yourself. But this little hack will keep you going uh, with minimal damage and minimal downtime and, uh, until that time. And it has worked before. Over the last 20 some years, I have done this to Fords and Chevys and some Nissans and it's worked well and held up until I can get it fixed. So uh, let's go check out this uh, interesting little hack on how to uh, fix a torn CV joint boot. Let's go. All right, get your boxer up and in the air. If you need to know how to get your boxer up on jack sands, I will link a video up there. As you can see, you're gonna have to remove the two longitudes that come back with support braces and you're gonna have to remove this tray. They're all 15 millimeter nuts and bolts. So let's grab our 15 millimeter socket and let's get to work on pulling these bolts off and moving those uh, arms out of the way so we can drop the pan. Okay, so the arms you can see have been moved and pushed out of the way. Now we just need to go ahead and grab that tray and pull it down. See, both of them are out of the way. All the bolts are off and you just reach up there and grab it and she will come down. Little wiggle, little wiggle. And well, there's the rip. <laughs> that CB boot. Now, there were already used axles from 20 Street Auto here in Phoenix. And I'm not uh, wanting to uh, spend a ton of money right now on this. So let's see if we can't redneck fix this and uh, enjoy the car for a little bit longer before we have to actually replace those with new units. So uh, let's grab some stuff. Got an idea. So in order to make this repair work and to last, you got to make sure that first of all, you have all the remnants of this axle grease that it has flung all over the engine bay underneath cleaned up. And you need to make sure that that rubber boot is as clean as possible. So get some brake cleaner. Let's get in here and with a toothbrush and let's clean up everything we can to get this thing ready for the next step. Okay, so here we have the, the tear. It's kind of facing down at us so we can get to it. You want to grab a container or a pouch of axle grease, or if you have a gun, you can use a gun, but I had these extra packets of axle grease left over from a previous job on my other Porsche. So I'm going to cut open the package, I'm going to stick an end into that hole, that rip, and I'm going to squeeze as much as I can and fill it up. Just keep squeezing until you get it all in there. So there's the hole, I'm going to stick it and force it into the hole and squeeze it until you can fill it up as much as you possibly can. Next, once you have that, go ahead and uh, clean up again. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then get some silicone, uh, high temp silicone gasket maker. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna smear that on. I have orange, but they make black, they make gray. There's different types of colors. But what you're after is the silicone. And with a clean boot that you've wiped down, you're going to, at its biggest opening, get that tear open as far as you can and start to go ahead and get that silicone and smooth it over, fill that crack, and kind of make it a patch away and around the tear. So kind of make it go down to the groove and on the other side. Give it about an inch along there and smooth it out the best you can. And if you lose a little too much, it's okay. Just make sure that hole is filled that crack and then make sure you have plenty on the outside to make a smooth cover uh, of the area so that we can then let it dry and move on to our next idea here. So let's just smooth it out a little more. Let's get it as nice as we can. Kind of building it up, pushing it around, and making sure we've worked it into that crack and that tear that we know that we've bonded all the inside of that tear together with that CV or with the um, the silicone. A little more here. Just wanting to make sure I got that gap or that tear completely filled in all the way around. Now this stuff does uh, set up in about an hour and it cures within 24 hours. So just leave the car parked for the weekend. You know, do it on a Friday night or something 
And then uh, come Sunday, you can uh, put everything back together and uh, test it out. So as you can see there, just let it dry, just making sure that it's fully packed into that crack. And uh, let's see what we got here. Come back. This is a few hours later. It's still a bit tacky, as you can see. But for the most part, it is uh, completely covering the tear. We've filled the tear, so it's ready to go. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, Ryan, this is so redneck. This will never work. I have been using this trick for probably 20 plus years on everything from Fords to Dodges to Toyotas to whatever would have a tear in it for whatever reason um, just to get you going until you have a couple dollars in your pockets where you can afford to replace the CV axles or the half shafts in a vehicle. So spin it around every so often. Make sure it kind of starts to get bendable. So as you're going down the road, it won't crack or break open. But because it is silicone, it is going to be flexible. So every 15 minutes, just rotate the tire a quarter or so, and then do it again and do it again. And uh, after a couple hours of just checking on it, you should be let, ready to let it go and just kind of seal up and cure on its own overnight for that. Let's see here. Turn this a little bit more. Kind of work its way back around so I can show you here how that's going to look. And it's a little bit difficult holding the camera and turning the uh, the wheel as I'm doing all this at one time. But as you can see, it's it's flexing nice. Um, it's gone just on that one rib. It's not connecting to the other ribs. So there's plenty of movement in this. Not going to be a problem whatsoever once it dries and hardens and cures and done. So the joint is repacked. It has grease back in it. It has been cleaned. We've cleaned the uh, underside carriage where all the axle grease flung out. We've cleaned that up and we've applied the silicone to the tear, made sure we filled the tear and made sure we had a nice little cap around it to uh, protect it for down the road. And I think for the most part, once this cures, um, some guy's been known to take black duct tape or, or something else to wrap it around in there. I've never done that. I've just left it this way and it and it's always taken care of me until I had a chance to buy new half shafts and install them. So here you go, guys. Uh, kind of a quick and dirty uh, redneck kind of way of fixing a crack in a torn CV boot. Um, hopefully you'll uh, like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments if you have a minute. And uh, enjoy. And I'll see you guys soon with another video on our Porsche Boxster build. Thanks so much, guys.